Do you think that the the mistakes uh, or, the, or the damage that he did when he was operating on people, which, as you said, it, it, it resulted in death, it re- resulted in paralysis, it, it, all kinds of things. Did it, was it because he was incompetent? Was it because he actually wanted to do harm? Was it because of his, you know, just psychological, you know, makeup when, when things got tough in the operating theater, he would just sort of snap? Like what was going, what do you think was going on? So, so my take on this is that it's two of those three things. I, I think, I think first off he was failed by his own education. So when you graduate from, when you finally get the shiny piece of paper, you should have minimum of 1500 surgeries. He had, he had done, or procedures rather, he had done less than a hundred. And the reason that he had done less than a hundred was because he started this um, uh, stem cell research company while he was in school with the man who was his educator and Mm. they will deny this where there is documentation to back this up. He was sort of allowed out of the rotations that he needed to do to, to develop the proficiency that he should have had by the time he was operating on live human bodies unsupervised. I also think that his ego was such that when that he couldn't, he couldn't see himself being wrong, right? He started basically at the answer to the question and everything else had to get there. So if something was going wrong, since he was incapable of being wrong, it must be somebody else's problem. And you marry that sort of massive toxic ego with a system that wants that guy to be right. They want him to be generating that money. They want him to be bringing in patients. They want him to be, I mean, we put it in the show, they want him to be the face on the billboard that attracts people from all over the nation and all over the world to his minimally invasive technique. So I think, again, he is a perfect storm of things that came together to destroy 33 lives. 